माई नेम इज कार्तिक एंड यू आर वॉचिंग माई पोदार के के ट्रिक्स एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टूडे आई विल शो यू हाउ वी कैन इंस्टॉल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी प्रिव्यू बिकॉज जस्ट जस्ट नाउ इट इज रिलीज ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंड इट इज कम्स इन वेरी कम्स विद द वेरी फास्ट लोडिंग योर प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड वर्क एंड प्रोडक्टिविटी so uh, we will try uh, how we can install and after that we will check also uh, what is the performance of uh, this visual studio so uh, it is a blogs of microsoft and it shows like uh, okay he shared a one videos also so let me check first that video i was working in 2022 yeah you can see over here it is a 1601 project load in very minimum you know many 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 seconds milliseconds so also it is support my my project my app so let's also check uh, okay here's the report uh, problem options over here in this uh, studio also and uh, yeah intelligence code update to the license code and uh, it is support extension also okay so let's get started with the preview version of visual uh, studio 2 preview okay and uh, yeah so there is a three three editions uh, community edition professional editions and enterprises okay so i will go with the uh, preview one Oh, professional. So, okay, okay. So first, I need to download. Okay, just double click on my you know, installer after download. Okay, okay, just continue. I think it's will download a few files for this installer. I think around 22 MBs. So first it will download, then it will install. Okay, now it comes up uh, with this 2002 and 17.0 preview one. Okay, so just I will start with the few workloads on uh, the uh, ASP.NET and uh, also I will choose. Universal workflow, universal window platforms, and mobile developments. Okay, and uh, I think it is sufficient. Yeah, I think it's sufficient because uh, Android SDK over here, IntelliSense. Also, we can check. Okay, it is coming with the 6.0 runtime. So we don't have to take care about this 6.0 runtime. And so can we see MS Build over there? Okay. And development activities. Okay, I think it is enough. Okay, just installed. Okay, I need to wait. I think it will take hardly a twenty minute or might be because it will download as two point eight four GB and then it will install partially. It will install, so don't worry. Uh, just a bit. 
okay now it's completed download completed and uh, installing also 99% has been done on the left 1% is remaining so meanwhile we can see the prerequisition of this you know installer visual studio 2022 so i think uh, okay yeah the supporting operating system should be you know window 10 version 9909 or higher okay and uh, this 29 okay it is a, it a standard and data center okay hardware requirement it should be like 1.10 gigahertz for faster 64 4 bit processor and uh, also you can see after downloading it's launching automatically so I think first complete what the hardware okay and hard disk minimum 85 to 210 and uh, as per the you know workload uh, you require the space and 20 to 50 because I, I just few uh, select the workload so might be 10 10 GB is sufficient for me but uh, if you add the more workload so Okay, so let's see. Okay, just uh, okay. I think it is taking time, few minutes. So open okay, issue. So I think it is enough. And uh, additional requirements: four point five point two above the required stuff in the studio. So it is enough. Okay, now it's completed. Installed and let's see the performance uh, i will create a sample my uh, .net my my project because uh, last time i have created in my uh, videos so that was uh, you know so lengthy and actually so high and that was in a very high performance so let's select check uh let me check my u is uh, you know installed or not so my u i can check okay now you can see i have installed you know uh, on no, a later version you know up version so i think i have to you know uh, update in my you know global red app dot net my u dot check so okay dot net tool i need to update update well, net dot my dot check okay now hit enter okay i think it's updating because uh, 6.3 okay because you uh, know in previous uh, i was installed uh, you know 6.04 4 preview 4 but now it's you know with 202 visual studio it's come with the dot uh, net uh, 6.0 preview 5 so i think it should be installed automatically let's check let, let's wait okay now it's installed now again i have to check my u i will check now it's okay and also jdk is okay visual studio 1610 check up it's okay also 17 version okay okay few things also feed okay workload is filled for android sdk okay 30 is not installed i think i don't yeah these are required but uh, yeah you can just put yes so that it will install automatically It is a great tool, you know, for mobile. Uh, if required any any 
anything so it will automatically okay so also I need not install these templates okay so just put yes so it will, it will automatically installed and actually in my experience tool should be like this because any any software if you downloading you don't know what uh, software is required or not so this kind of tool is very helpful okay now it looks good okay so let me check again I can check so that uh, we double make sure everything is looks good I think is DK studio is okay JDK is okay okay yeah everything is okay so, so let me create the my project with the command prompt CLI command okay so let's leave and go to my project in my folder and uh, okay let's create dot dot new actually uh, two type of uh, my loop my template is to drive like my blazer and without blazer so if you don't know about the my and my blazer so you can watch my my previous video so let's start create it yeah it's created and let's go that folder here this is so let's open with the 2020 I need to check actually performance house loading and house fast is opening running etc so I don't think so so much fast let's see Okay. Now it's packaging is storing, so let's wait for restore package. Okay, now restored completed packages. Restore package completed. So let's open with Android. Uh, okay, and let's check control F5. How's so working with the 2020 okay now it's fast i think as per my previous experience 2019 and 2020 I think it's fast because my emulator is not coming so fast. And sometimes I also observe, you know, while uh, running the app in uh, my emulator or Android, so it's hang or something like you know crash so many times so what oh, first time we can see it's good also I, if i open yeah this is my app just open mm, while deploying i can open my app they also a great advantage okay okay yeah. it's good 
So, uh, so yeah, we can we have installed 2020 and also see yeah it's uh, good and better than you know 2019. So thank you, thank you so much.